what's up guys it's tech support gone bad and today I'm gonna show you guys pretty much everything and anything you need to know about using Adobe Photoshop CS3 now what works with Adobe Photoshop CS3 also uh, mostly should work with the older versions of Adobe Photoshop but but the buttons and stuff will be in different places so you guys are gonna have to go ahead and locate the buttons on your own now the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to get custom brushes for Adobe Photoshop so the first thing you want to do is open up your Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer and go to DeviantArt.com. The link to DeviantArt will be in the vi in the video description. And also, since I already have some um, some custom brushes on my Adobe Photoshop, the link to the custom brushes that I have will be in the video description also. But if you guys want to learn how to get more custom brushes, then just go to DeviantArt.com and in the search box type Photoshop cs3 brushes and click go now all these brushes should pop up just wait for it to load and all these brushes should pop up there will be different brushes like the splatter brush the skull brush and the arrow brush but today i'm just going to download the eyelash brush for demonstration purposes and to show you guys how to download and use brushes Okay, as you see, this eyelash brush changes eyes with barely any eyelashes to an eye that looks like it has a lot of eyelashes. And this looks pretty real, too. You, you won't be able to tell that it's fake at first glance. So just go ahead and press download. Click here to continue to DeviantArt. Open with Adobe Photoshop CS3. And Adobe Photoshop should open, and it should automatically open by itself. And as you see, if you press on the brush tool, and you click over here, and you scroll down, you can see that the eyelash brush, all the eyelash brush tools have opened up automatically. But sometimes, it doesn't open up automatically. So to do it manually, just click over here, click load brushes, and just double click on wherever you save the brush, and it'll load like that. So let's go ahead and test out this brush on a picture of an eye that I found on Google Images. Okay, now let's see. Let's choose this one. Adjust the size. A little bit bigger. And just click. And as you see, it has pretty realistic looking eyelashes. Now, it doesn't look that realistic right now because this certain photo is a picture of a, um, of a right eye. And I guess this eyelash brush tool is created for left eyes. So, yeah. And plus, this eyelash, uh, this eye already has some eyelashes on it, so it, you could really tell the difference. So you could just go ahead and mess around with this. For example, I'm just gonna add the bottom one too. Too big. All right. So as you can see, this creates a cool eyelash effect, and um, yeah, it's, it could be pretty useful to give yourself an extra glamorous look. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to actually change someone's eye color on Photoshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the picture up of the eye. And the first thing you want to do is to create a new layer. And how you do that is either you go to Layer, New, and, and click on Layer. Or just what I do is, click, is hold Shift, Control, and N. <clears throat> and the new layer should pop up. And just click OK. And now the next thing you want to do is choose the color you want to change the eye to. I'm going to, it's already blue, so I'm going to change it to red. <coughs> and choose the brush tool. And just color in the eye. Now I'm going to do this pretty fast, but when you're doing it, be sure to do it slowly so it looks more realistic. Okay. Now just fill it in. <clears throat> okay and after you've done that just go to your layer change the layer options from normal to overlay and as you see photoshop has just changed the eye color to red and now this looks really sloppy because i did it really fast but just go ahead and erase around the edges to make it look better but when you guys are doing it be sure to do it slowly so it looks more realistic 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to actually change the skin color of someone. So what you want to do is select the sponge tool. In the sponge tool, click on the mode saturate. And be sure to select the background layer, which is the main layer. And just go around the person. And what this does is give the person an automatic tan look. Now just go around it a couple times. And you don't want to stay in, stay in one spot too long and one, the other spot too little. Because then it gives it an uneven tan look. And that's not really attractive. Okay, now as you see... I just tanned this eye and I tanned it a little bit too much on purpose so you guys would see what happens if you hold it in one space too long. So don't do that. You want it to look something like this area, not this area. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to actually lighten skin to make it whitish, grayish, palish color, if that's even a word. Well, go to the mode and click on desaturate and just do the same thing. And this will make it a palish, whitish color. And, uh, and grayish color and I need to do it a couple times since I already saturated it and just go over it a couple times evenly or else one part will look too pale and the other part will look too tan go through it evenly and as you see um, I just made this eye look really palish and white Okay, and as you see, what I just created here is a pretty vicious-looking, gothic, emo-ish eye. And it looks pretty cool. And yeah, you could create that effect too, just by doing what I just did. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to actually whiten someone's teeth. Okay, so I'm just going to open up a picture of a girl I found on, oops, I found on Google Images. Right here okay now her teeth aren't too bad but I'm just gonna show you guys how to make them even whiter okay so just take the magnetic lasso tool or the normal lasso tool or first zoom in to her teeth so you could get a better oops so you could get a better view of them okay now just get the magnetic lasso tool now I'm gonna only do two teeth because last one does take some time, but you guys be sure to do all the teeth if you want all the teeth to look white, which I'm sure you do. So just go ahead and do that. Okay, now this is pretty sloppy last one, so be sure to do it. You do a good job when you're last one. Okay, next up, keep it lassoed and go to image adjustments. Hue slash saturation. Either that or you could just click control and U. And for the edit, make sure it's on yellows. So it focuses on the yellows in the teeth. And just click the lightness to how light you want it. And I'm going to make it about this light. And as you can see, the difference between this tooth and this tooth right here, it's all white. But up here, it's kind of yellowish on this tooth. So yeah, that's how you make teeth whiter. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to actually get rid of pimples and anything you don't want. For example, a wedding ring if you're divorced or anything you don't want in the picture. So as I see right here, she has, um, she doesn't have a pimple, but she does have a nose ring. Yeah, a nose ring that we could use, nose piercing. And um, so I'm just going to pretend this is a pimple or something she doesn't want there or I don't want there. And we're going to get rid of it. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on the healing brush tool. Hold alt and click on an area similar to the place that you want to get rid of. And I'm just going to click right next to it. And then go on it and just start coloring. And it vanishes just like that. It's as simple as that. And it, it basically what it does is take the area that you held alt and clicked on and paint it in that area. So if you see, if I hold alt and click on her eye and I color in her cheek, it basically just colors her eye as you can see right here. Her eye is now on her cheek and you could create some pretty cool effects with that too. For example, an alien or whatever. And it does some really cool stuff with, like that. 